Welcome to Let's Play Maniac Match, and I have with me a special guest, Rue from ClanOfTheGreyWolf.com. Hi, Rue. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? I'm all right. I'm mentally preparing myself for the excursion into the Maniac Mansion. Tell my audience and followers a little bit about yourself. What is it that you do, and why are you here? So, yes, Rue uh, from Clan of the Grey Wolf, as you said, I do uh, my main show, um, when I get around to it, is called 16-Bit Gems. Uh, it looks at underappreciated classics from the 16-bit era. Uh, I also do a, game, a, a show called uh, The Way Games Work, which explains technical aspects of video games, like how the Nintendo 3DS works, or how the NES Zapper works, you know, things like that. I have a nitpick. Um, of course you do. I do. So, um, Rue, if, if I may, why isn't your show called How Peripherals Work? Because you have yet to tell me how a game works. Uh, maybe I'm getting to it. Have oh. you ever thought of that? Then? Yeah. I just did one on the Wii U. That is not a peripheral in of itself. It's, it's actually oh, the whole fine. console. Fine, fine. <laughs> I'm just saying, I would like to see a show called How Peripherals Work. That'll be the uh, offshoot. So at this point, we are to be choosing our characters, and I'm going to choose Razor because I think that I look like her. Of course you are. What? Uh, you're, well, nothing, nothing. You're, look at you're that. lucky. I, at least I don't want to kill myself for you choosing that because I cannot stand her music in the NES version. I don't know Ooh. if it's the same. For the, I think it is the same probably for the uh, computer versions, but it's terrible. It is so grating. Holy crap. Yikes. But, no, okay. I'm, not, I'm not looking forward to that if it is in fact the same. I think you should choose Bernard because you look like him. Yeah, I kind of always had to choose Bernard. Let's do it, Bernard. he's cool. And unfortunately, you always have to choose Dave. Look at that. He's president of the physics club. Of course. He's like the biggest geek ever. He's, it's perfect. It's perfect. <laughs> but I'm like the coolest kid in the group, and that's true to real life. So why not? Let's just do it. So yeah. I mean, so for anyone who has not played this before, you pick your kids. You have to go save Dave's girlfriend in the crazy mansion. And each kid has a special talent or talents that help them do things. You're, you're a music person, so you can make... Well, we'll get to that later, but you can you can <laughs> basically play instruments and stuff. Uh, Ard's a giant geek, so he can fix things. Um, Dude, Rue, Dave... Rue, yes. this is perfect. I'm a drummer. This is meant to be. Me and Razor. Okay, go on. <laughs> <laughs> and Dave is the guy you can't choose, and he has no special talents, and he kind of sucks, so he's probably going to spend most of his time in the dungeon, but we'll see. Sandy's we'll see boyfriend, that. organizer of the rescue effort. So he has no special powers, he's just no, some he just dude? There. He's a warm body, basically. Well, so. But he does have the best theme music out of everyone in the game. So. Well, that's something. It is. All right, let's start. Does this game have an intro? Um, You know what? Let's find out. Ooh. Yes. Yes, it does. <laughs> yes, it does. 20 years ago today. Uh, that's a meteor. It is. You know what? This is really fun music, actually. If we could hear it. Oh, wow. That's funky music right there. <laughs> I like it. I like I should turn on my webcam so people can see. So this is a Lucasfilms game. Yes. Uh, which actually threw me off because I didn't realize it wasn't a LucasArts game. Yeah, well, this is... Is this before LucasArts really existed? It, this is... Well... This was, the work on this began in, like, 1985. And, um... Ron Gilbert... And, well, I mean, the credits just came up, but... Uh, yeah, Ron Gilbert, who's really well-known for his... Adventure games in general worked on this, so it's... This is definitely a classic. You know what else is a classic by Ron Gilbert? Yes. Putt-Putt. Ron Gilbert, what? This is not where I thought you were going with that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're missing story. We're missing story here. Oh, it's time to get Sandy out of the mansion, but it could be really dangerous. You sound very. And if you want to back out, Bert, your character's a wuss, dude. Yeah. He just Don't... tried to leave. Why did you choose Bernard? I'm a tuna head. I can't help it. I, I guess my character has no. Oh, right. I heard Doctor Fred was kind of cute. Oh, so you're. I'm, I'm a slut. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to make it sound not as bad, but it didn't work. 
that's not true to real life, by the way. Mm. I just wanted to. So we've got um, a billion commands. Yeah. Which normally, normally I'd be very angry with this many commands because a lot of adventure games are big offenders of having too many actions and not implementing them throughout the game. But this is pretty well organized, so I'm not too... I guess I'm okay with it. So my history with this game, I played it on the NES because, you know, I found it for cheap one day and there you go. Uh, so I, I'm i assuming this is pretty much the same game, except I know that um, Nintendo censored a few things. So I'm kind of curious to pick out some of the more right. interesting differences. Right. So you got, you got <laughs> your chick there. I'm leaving go. Bernard behind. So you said you have played this before, correct? So I have. I have. And so it, you should, sorry, go ahead. It's, it's been uh, maybe 10 years since I've played it, and that's kind of a long time for me to go uh, without playing a game. So I don't quite remember, but um, I'll do what I can. I mean, here's a mailbox. Open yep. mailbox? You just hit the mailbox with a baseball bat, and then you win. The that's end. it? Yeah, you, it's just vigilanteism, basically. Oh it's like, you stole my girlfriend, I'm going to smash your mailbox, and then you win. You walk away feeling like a big man. That is the best game in the entire world. Um, <laughs> I can't open the mailbox, so that's good. Really? Yeah. Um, I can push the red flag, but there's no mail in it right now. I think you can open it. You have to, like, probably get it right on the door or something like that. Okay. Open. Maybe. I mean, there's nothing really to do. Maybe not. I got it. Yeah, no, no, nope, nope, I missed it. I missed it. Man. It, it can be very touchy. And that I remember that from the NES game, which kind of sucked because, you know, you don't have a mouse. Um, This is... Open the freaking mailbox! Razor is pissing me off right now. No, I can't... I, <laughs> did you not see it? You saw it, right? I did. I actually did see it. I believe in you. This is Trust your instincts. The first puzzle, and we are completely stuck. How do I open the mailbox? <laughs> Please consult the walkthrough. <laughs> the walkthrough is click on the mailbox. <laughs> Great. How about, like, pull? Like, pull the door? No. It's got to be open. It's got to be open. You, you're just not... Uh, I saw it. You got you to put it near the... Uh, yeah. I got it. I hey. got the mailbox. Okay. Now, there's nothing to put in there, but hey, at least you opened it. Hey, that's... It's small victories, really. <laughs> <laughs> can I'm gonna um, can I move these bushes? Let's see. What is what think, is what is the what is command? Uh, I don't know if that was in the NES version, but it tells you something about it. I think I assume. We use the bushes. Oh no! Right. You don't pee in the bushes, please. Pull the bushes. I hey. got rid of the bushes. Nice. This is probably I'm probably doing this all incorrectly. No, well, I mean. I, Man, I kind of so that leads to the basement. It's rusted. Yeah, you okay. need something else to open that. So uh, I think we should just kind of um, invite ourselves in here. Ding dong. We should well, probably knock on the door. Maybe you could if you want them to, you know, see that you're about to invade the house. But unlock. Wait, wait. How do I use the? Yeah, I use. Okay, use. so I remember how to get into the house. I'm wondering if you do. Well, I'm just going to ring the doorbell. Excuse me. Can I please have my girlfriend? <laughs> God, it's weird. Oh, the doorbell. Wow. He is much more <laughs> grotesque in this version than I remember. <laughs> okay, I rang the doorbell. All right. Now, the interesting thing is that um, he doesn't just immediately show up. It takes some time for him to come downstairs. Okay. So it's like if you had a kid in the house, which you don't, uh, and you had them stationed outside of his room, Ed's room there. Oh, so you found the key. Ding. Pick up key. But um, if you had someone stationed outside Ed's room, you could just have someone ring the doorbell. He would come outside, and then you could ransack his room. Um, I, uh, am I about to get killed? No, you're, it's, it's okay. He's just saying oh. GTFO. Oh. And that's it. That but was that's mean. Okay because you found the key. He didn't even that's give me a chance. I'm just here to sell you some... Boobs? Cutlery. Some boots? Some boobs. It's Razor. Oh, Look at her. Crazy. She's hot. <laughs> I got some boobs to sell. Uh, it's for my Girl Scout troop. <laughs> this is uh, the most impressive pixelated cleavage I've ever seen. 
That's pretty impressive. It's a little crooked. I am a little concerned, but... <laughs> uh, let's see. I'm going to use my key that I yes. stole. It's a teenager. She has time to grow into that. It's okay. All right. I open the door. I remember from my time as a little girl. Anyway. Uh, what? <laughs> huh? I, should I probably huh? get maybe Bernard or something? Yeah, let's go grab him. Um, sure. I don't I'd want him to feel left out. Okay. Just don't forget Dave. He's, um, are he's you like, sure? He's good. He's like, okay, go ahead, guys. Dave is useless. Well, you know what Dave's useful for? If you get captured and thrown in the dungeon, there's like a special brick that you can you can hit that opens the door, but one of your kids has to be pressing it while the other one leaves. I do remember that. I actually do remember Dave, that. Dave is perfect for that. He is a great brick pusher. <laughs> well, we all have talents. Yes. Can I, like, make them make out? I think that's in the sequel. There's no... Ma oh, I accidentally left. I like Bernard. He's got, a, like, a pocket protector. Look at that. All the cool kids have them. Are yeah, you I've never owned a pocket protector. I was going to say, are you saying you owned a pocket protector? But no, then I, I would be implying oh. that you're cool, and that's not what I wanted to do at all. You made the mistake of saying I'm intelligent. Can't open the clock. Oh, oh my god. Oh, story cutscene. Oh, well, my dear, I hope you're having fun. Within minutes, it'll all be over. You'll be hooked up to my sheen, getting your pretty little brain sucked out. You keep uh, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Dave and his friends will rescue me. What? <laughs> you and your meteor can eat slime. Is she from Transylvania or something? <laughs> Uh, Sandy is running into the door very spastically, but she's blonde, so Ooh. yeah. Blonde envy. She's not what? No, she's not I'm like sorry. Razor. Razor is awesome. That looks like red hair from a bottle. I'm sorry. It's not. That's natural. Well, then why are her are her <laughs> eyebrows like black? Just like my hair, because uh, eyebrows are different. Um, I don't think hair works that way. But anyway. I'm going to open this door. Yeah, that's the kitchen. I do remember that. You find all sorts of neat stuff in the kitchen. All right, sweet. Um, Here's a thing. It's a flashlight. I'm going to grab that. Mm -hmm. uh, pick up. All right. Oh. Uh, um, uh, oh. Blood. That's not blood. I'm sure it's ketchup. It's the kitchen. Can you open any of these cabinets or, or the stove or anything? Let's see. Open stove. I'd rather use the microwave. All right. Okay, I can open the microwave. Let's put my flashlight in it. That seems like a not great idea. <laughs> Just putting that out there. Can we take the chainsaw? I have one of these um, in my kitchen. Maybe. Gr oh, oh. There you go. I don't know if that's actually useful, but hey. But hell yeah! <laughs> what a chainsaw! This is officially the best game I've ever played. So, something fun uh, you can do is uh, if you, you get into Ed's room and pick up his hamster, hamster plus uh, microwave totally equals, um, oh, you got hot. I, um... Wah, wah. Um, what the hell? Oh, yeah. I forgot that Nurse Edna, not in the NES version, is like a big lecher. Oh, great. <laughs> All right, well, oh, okay, and that guy's dead. Uh, he has had better days. Yeah. Oh, okay, let's, so that's... let's steal his bones. Um, wow. Didn't work. Right, why would she know him? That is, well, she is a musician, and musicians do get around, if you know what I mean. I see why you suddenly have this kinship with her. <laughs> All right. So you said there was a brick in here, right? There is, but the thing is, is that you need one person to hold it while the other gets out. So. So another person has to get in the dungeon? Dave needs to get in the dungeon. You don't uh, want Bernard in the dungeon. All right, Dave. He's too awesome. Time to make Bye. yourself useful. I'm good at getting captured. My name's Dave. <laughs> <laughs> Go and save my girlfriend. I see uh, Bernard's having a very fun time just standing there. 
Let's see, I how can I get caught. caught? Maybe if I can just go back to the kitchen, I'll get caught as well. I think Nurse Edna's probably gone by this point. But... But don't we want to see where all this blood is coming from? Don't we? Suddenly Maniac Mansion is a mystery game, and I just want to know who got murdered. Everybody. The answer is everybody. What's in the fridge? It is ketchup. Look. It's What's ketchup. What's in the fridge? It is ketchup. Yeah, broken bottles of ketchup. I took them. You picked up the broken bottles of. Ooh. Uh, is wait. I think you need to take other things. But do I really want to take things as Dave right now? Sure, why not? Okay. Might as well do a little bit of exploring until Dave's get gets captured, and then you can let Razor out. Take the you cheese. Can, you can like give your stuff to other kids. Okay. If you're in the same room, I, I think. Just pretend that I know what I'm talking about. Got a lettuce, <clears throat> beer. I mean Pepsi. I like the product placement there. It's Pepsi. It's it is cold. Pepsi. It is Pepsi. Yep, can of Pepsi. And I've got lettuce and old batteries. Yeah. So. I'm thinking the old batteries probably aren't useful, but well, we'll see. Pick, you pick oh, up it's... everything. I didn't mean it's... to pick up the door. Yeah, okay, don't don't pick up the door. I didn't literally mean pick up everything. Sorry. But... <laughs> um, Dining room? Yeah, pick up the dining room. Wait, there's turkey here. And it's rotting. I need that. Mm -hmm. Oh, crap. That's good timing. Oh, see? He's hungry. So now if you... Oh, oh. Move, Bernard. Go. Make oh, him go out. Oh, crap. Okay. He'll get caught otherwise. Should I have him go upstairs? No, outside. Outside. Holy shit. I don't, I don't, oh, my God. <laughs> that doesn't seem unsafe. It's very inviting. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Scandal. I, I doubt that was in the NES game. That's... Those are boobs. Those... Yeah. That's... And a vagina. <laughs> can, can we take that? Can we put this in her pants? <laughs> she has no pants. 